Hey everybody, JC here. Just wanted to do a quick little video, and this is going to be, um, I mean, not really a dual video. I just, just a couple of things I wanted to share with you too with this, but this is going to be a review of my Mr. Brog pipe that I just ordered. Um, this is my first eBay pipe purchase. Um, got it off of eBay, not necessarily the eBay makes it, but it's a Mr. Brog. If you can read that, let's see. Uh, it's probably not gonna let you read it because of the way, the way the lighting is in here right now. But it's raining with cats and dogs outside. It's been doing that all day. But it's a uh, Mr. Brog '86 Champion, and it just says Mr. Brog '86 Champion underneath. But this is just a beautiful pipe. I mean, beautiful. You can't really see the birds out of that well right there, but it's just stunning. Should have had more light over here, but I'll have to show it another day in the light. Um, but if you go to Amazon, I'm not sure if there's any left. There was only like 12 left when I ordered this one, so it may not be any more left. But um, I paid under $40 for this pipe shipped to the house. I mean, that's tax and everything. Um, and for a briar pipe, Pretty sure these are made in Poland, I think. It says made in, made in Europe right here on the side, but I think it's Poland. Don't don't quit me on that. You can look it up, but I think they make their pipes in Poland. But smoking fantastically. Um, if that's a word, fantastic, fantastically. Um, nice chunk of briar underneath. Staying very cool. It's uh, wider at the top than it is at the base. Um, came with a little like I'm not taking it apart because I'm smoking it but I was just getting ready to make a mistake but <laughs> came with this little um, aluminum insert in it I'm assuming that's for either a little filtration thing or cooling down the smoke either or I just took it out I like a smooth um, easy draw but smoking fantastically so what I'm smoking, this is a blend I'm doing for my competition. Um, we do a little local, we have a local pipe group and we're, we, we do a blending competition every year. So this is the beginning of my blending competition. So I measured everything out to two ounces like I wanted earlier. Um, and what this is going to be is it's going to be a, I wanted it to be anyways, it's a Virginia Burley Perique blend. It ended up kind of being a burly Virginia Perique blend. Um, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is either take a little bit of burly out or add some more Virginia. And I have some base Virginia, some sweet base Virginia I used and I coated that with, um, I didn't coat it, I sprinkled on some rum because this the this year's theme is um, alcohol based. So it has to be alcohol cased or alcohol topped. Um, However you want to do it is up to you, I guess. But um, I just did a little little bit of alcohol while it was dry to let it soak in. Um, I did that just to the Virginia, nothing else. But it, the burly, it's a real nutty, nice burly. I got this stuff from Leaf only, by the way. I did add some flake in there, too, some base Virginia flake that I used um, that I won't mention what it is. But but um, it's very good. It's just not what I wanted it to be because... The burly in this is just kind of overtaking some of the other components. It's a nice nutty burly, nice and smooth and creamy and rich. It's got that little bit of cocoa to it, not real pencil shaving-y, but um, you can see how creamy and rich it is. I just wanted the Virginia to stand a little bit more than it is in the Perique. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit more Virginia Perique in this and uh, just maybe pull out a little bit of burly too. but. Let me know um, two things. Have you guys done any type of blending on your own blending competitions? I think it's very, very fun to do this because um, it's cool. And I smoked each of the individual components by themselves first to see. And uh, the burly didn't taste that strong to start with, so I didn't realize it was going to overtake as much stuff as it did, but it did. So now that I know that, I know how to adjust. But I got a couple months to get this blend together before I have to turn it in, so... Hopefully, hopefully I won't have to make a lot more adjustments, but I may have to. But this is just smoking fantastic. 
the pipe and the, the tobacco. I mean, I cannot get over, guys, what I paid for this pipe. Um, if I had to critique it at all and give it a negative, um, I love how it, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, here we go. It sits perfectly flat. I mean, it's a beautiful sitter. It just sits. It's hard to tell with the camera angle. There you go. But it's just, it sits perfectly flat. I like that. You don't have to have anything to put it on. Um, comes with a nice, there we go. Comes with a nice pipe sleeve. Sleeve is, you know, good material. I cannot believe what I paid for this thing. Under $40 shipped to the house with the um, discount code. And it was Paul Gibbons, I think, is the guy's name. The YouTube page, you go check him out. Paul Gibbons. Um, but uh, Greg at Tunnel Take is the one that, that told me about this, um, or told everybody about this. That's where I got it. I saw it on Greg's page. And um, he talked about the uh, discount code. And I went on there immediately, and I'm like, man, that's a nice-looking pipe, because he pulled it out. And I'm like, let me just go see how much this thing is. And it was like 40 some dollars. And with the 15% off, it dropped it under 40 with shipping and tax and everything. And I'm like, holy smokes, dude. And I got it, and I'm like, well, let's see how, how it smokes. You know, I wasn't sure how... $40 pipe was going to smoke, but I tell you what, if you haven't checked out Mr. Brog, and I haven't before, I didn't know really about it too much. I'm just figured the Amazon is, you know, Amazon sold pipes were just garbage in my opinion. That's what I thought they were, but very well made. Um, but it, anyways, what I was going to say, if I had to critique it at all, this is just a little too thick for me where you put it in your mouth. Um, not necessarily worried about the width, but up here, I don't really mind it so much, but down here, I like it to be just a little bit more thinner, kind of like the way this one is. And um, this is perfect for me. But, you know, that's splitting hairs really at this point. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's a great smoker. I mean, obviously, the tobacco is a little wet. I, have, I didn't want to dry enough, but. There we go. Of course, I'm talking too. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I would recommend these to anybody. I mean, these are much better than any basket pipe you can get, in my opinion. Um, and this, this to me, I mean, you're spending that kind of money on it, toss it in the car, I'm going to take it with me, I'm going to keep it in my pipe bag at all times, probably is what I'm going to do. Then that way, if I'm out doing something, it's just a fantastic smoker. And I can see me smoking Englishes in this. Um, flakes probably would be good because it's a little bit, it's not a huge bowl size, but... Um, it's a nice girthy bowl, you know, I guess you would say. But I like how it's, it's um, the base, it's a little um, thicker at the base and narrower up top. So it kind of, you know, I guess maybe that's why it's not getting hot. The fact that I'm smoking a burly blend probably is helping too, but it's not getting hot. Smoke's staying nice and cool, and that's even without that little um, uh, bullet thing, whatever they call it, they put in there. But, um... Just an absolutely great finish, too, on this thing. And the bird's eye, you can't tell. Them. I should have had some better light for you guys. Um, but it's got some nice straight grain going on, some nice character up here. Nice bird's eye on the whole bottom of it. Just smokes fantastic. I'm very impressed by this pipe, to be honest with you, for what I paid for it. And it smokes just as good, if not better, than hundred plus, you know, sometimes $200 pipes, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, if I just had to critique it at all, the negative would be this. I love how it sits flat and the look of it, the finish of it, the fit and feel of it is great, but that's the only negative I would say. But that's just my taste though. I'm sure they made it like that for a reason. I'm still clinch it though. But yeah. So let me know what you guys think about have you ever done blending or have you got stuff from Leaf Only yet and what did you think of it? And uh, if you've had Mr. Brog Pipes, JC out. Catch you guys later.